Medical professionals are noticing a disturbing trend caused by the high cost of calling an ambulance. As correspondent Nikki Batiste tells us, some people are choosing alternative ways to get to the hospital. It was rush hour at the Mass Avenue station when this passenger stepped off the crowded train. Surveillance video shows the moment her leg dropped into the gap, trapping her between the train and the platform. The next thing you know, I see a, a guy just tearing down the platform, yelling somebody call uh, uh, 911. But that was exactly what the victim did not want. As other commuters rocked the train to dislodge the woman's leg, a Boston Globe reporter tweeted from the scene. She begged no one call an ambulance. It's $3,000. I can't afford that. That post was retweeted thousands of times, apparently striking a chord about the health care cost calculations many Americans have to make. There is no question that people are sometimes you know, deferring necessary treatment. Dr. Michael Spare with Columbia School of Public Health says Americans are putting off medical care or finding cheaper alternatives. A study last year from the University of Kansas found in cities with the ride sharing service Uber, the rate of ambulance usage has dropped 7%. If you think you're having a heart attack, you should call an ambulance. And the fact that you may even question whether or not you want to do that is a terrible indictment of the healthcare system here in the United States. In the Boston case, EMS did arrive and the woman was treated at the hospital. But her story is a reminder of the financial pain that often accompanies a medical emergency. Nikki Batiste for CBS3 Eyewitness News.